Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is Saturday which means it is time for another inspired Saturdays collaboration here on my YouTube channel. I hope you'll stick around, see who I'm going to be inspired by this week and find out how you can go to their channel and find out how I inspired them. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you're inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Okay. I'm so excited to be back today with another Oh So Inspired collaboration here on my YouTube channel. This week, I am teaming up with Melissa of Mel's Card Corner. I first noticed her on Instagram and I contacted her to see if she would like to join me for an inspired Saturday and luckily she said yes. And starting with September, she also became a part of my sheet load of cards team. I will have Melissa's Instagram account and her YouTube channel linked below. I also think she might have a blog so I'll go ahead and add that as well. If you're new to Inspired Saturdays, I'll tell you a little bit about it before we get started. I like to stop by almost every Saturday and team up with another crafty YouTuber to be inspired by each other. Today on my channel, you're going to see me take a creation that Melissa shared and create a new project based upon it. She's going to do the same thing on her channel, except she'll use one of my projects to create something new. Make sure once you're done with my video that you click on her link in the description box below. It will be at the very top of the description box so it's easy to find. There is lots of eye candy on Melissa's Instagram account. But something really stuck out to me that she also has a video here for. And she makes four cards using just one piece of 6x6 pattern paper and a few pieces of cardstock. Now, if you're not new to my channel, that might sound familiar. I think you all know that I love to make multiples when I find a layout I like. So, up here on the screen is a look at one of the cards in the set, but she actually made four. Now, I'm not going to go over today too much of the dimensions while I show you the process because you can watch Melissa's original video. It will be linked below for more details. Let me go ahead and tell you about some of the products I'm going to use before I get started on the process. If I leave you with any questions, as always, leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. For my pattern paper today, I'm going to be using this gorgeous 6x6 floral paper. I was actually sent a whole bunch of beautiful paper from my subscriber Pam in Oregon. And so I'm going to be putting this one to use today for the cards. I got four card bases out of my stash. For my sentiment, I'm going to be using some of these stamps from There She Goes Clear Stamps. Unfortunately, this company is no longer in business, but you can usually find similar stamps out there. I will probably be using Your Amazing and Thinking of You. I got out a couple stitch circle dies for my sentiment, which I will be stamping in Stampin' Up! Basic Gray. I also need some matting cardstock for my pattern papers, so I got out two pieces of purple that I thought coordinated nicely with that floral pattern. Let's get crafty! To start out my card today, I actually mark the back of my pattern paper per the instructions that Melissa gives on her video. Like I mentioned before, I won't be really sharing the specifics of how this is made because I do want you to check out Melissa's original video, but I wanted to let you see me make this just so you saw how quick and easy it is. While you're watching, I want to let you know that if you're a crafty YouTuber who would like to join me on a Saturday, you can apply to be part of the Inspired Saturdays collaboration. I will link the video below that gives you all of the details on how you can apply. If you have any questions on that, you can always email me. My email address is at the bottom of all of my description boxes. Once I had my pattern paper cut and matted with that purple cardstock, I moved on to my stamping. Off camera, I just 
quickly cut up a couple scraps of white cardstock and I'm going to be using each sentiment twice. So that is why I set up both stamps. I'm going to stamp that onto the white cardstock, put in that second piece of paper and stamp my second set. Once those were stamped, I pulled in my Spellbinders Prism. I am just loving this little die cutter and I die cut the sentiments. I use the smaller circle for this along with a piece of scotch blue removable tape. I use this tape often and I will be able to reuse this same piece for all of my die cutting today and I save it on the shelf beside me to use for my next job. It holds the die in place where I need it and then it easily pulls up from the cardstock and it never tears cardstock or pattern paper. Once I have the sentiments die cut, I got out the scraps of the purple cardstock that I had left over from matting my pattern paper and I cut four of the larger stitch circles out of the purple cardstock. Now all of the parts for the cards were ready, so I started putting those together. The first thing I did was add adhesive to the back of one of my pattern paper pieces and that got adhered in the upper left corner of the card front. Now you will notice that here my cards do look different than Melissa's. Her pattern paper was on the right and that's because I measured my cardstock from the back so it flipped it over. But I think it looks just as good. I continued to add adhesive to these pieces and get those put on my card fronts. The next step was to mat each of my sentiment circles with the purple cardstock mat. Now if I had to do this over, I probably would have chosen a different set of circles or perhaps used a matting circle that maybe had a decorative edge because this border is a little bit thicker than I would like, but I decided to just go with it. Once I had those matted, I used some Stampin' Up! dimensionals to add these to the front of my card, giving the card just a little bit of dimension since so far it was pretty flat. And here's a final look at the finished cards. I hope you enjoyed getting to see how I made this quick and easy set of cards today. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Now don't forget to go check out Melissa's video, it's linked below. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day, bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.